Guys, you see the title of the video? We've genuinely been lied to. You've been lied to, I've been lied to, we've all been lied to, we've all been there. Now, this is not a clickbait title. It sounds dramatic, but I can actually prove that we've actually genuinely been lied to. So have you ever been into SMA, right? And you just have like, for example, you bought a pro, you probably come across the same gurus, you bought their programs, you tried outreach, it's not worked for you. The reason for that is because we've actually genuinely been lied to. Not in the way you think, because genuinely the information is good out there. The information is out there. You can technically just build an agency without needing to actually enroll in anybody's programs and stuff like that. But I feel like we've kind of been lied to. I don't know whether that's deliberately or it's just a simple miscalculation or it's for views, clicks or core sales or some shit like that. So long story short, guys, let me let me break this down for you guys real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to read this comment out on my actual, that I got on one of my actual videos. By the way, Will, shout out to you because a guy called Will commented on my actual YouTube video. I just want to re re read this out to you guys real quick. So um, I'll put this on the screen. I'll get my video edit to put this on the screen, but take a listen to this, guys. This basically just encompasses everything today's video is all about. Take a listen to this, right? A guy called Will commented on one of my videos. I just wanna break this down, right? And he put, I love how you break down the numbers. A lot of the bigger authorities in the space use very vague concepts, on, which is understandable because they want to get lots of viewers and to keep it engaging which I completely, completely understand with these big, big names and whatnot. They kind of like go with vague stuff. But it's good to know that you need to do, for example, 1,600 emails and 150 upward proposals, etc., to get a job. I can bet if everyone new to the game knew that they had to send 2,000 emails or 200 upward proposals to get a client, there won't be um, half as many failures and wasted opportunities in the space. Like, guys, it's actually so, so freaking true when I think about it. I've been trying to say this previously, like, we're genuinely getting lied. Like, I wouldn't say we're, I don't know if it's on purpose, but it feels like we're getting lied to a little bit. I'm, I'm not even saying this, that you guys getting lied to. This happened to me as well. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm literally just a dude that wanted to kind of like try and build some sort of online business. Fell into SMA as well. Don't forget I did drop shit before this. Went into SMA, started like listening to all these gurus as well. So I've been down, I've been down that exact same cliche journey. You go and find like, you start Googling online, like online businesses, because you don't either want to work a job or you want to like just, not work a job or you don't want to go to college or you just want to make some money online basically because you're broke then you start googling like online businesses and you come across the same cliche businesses and then you eventually get into like either drop shipping or something like that or amazon fba or you come across like copywriting or trading or crypto and then eventually you get into sma and you listen to the same do, do the same gurus and same dudes in, in the game and they're saying and they're making it almost sound like it's easy to get there now i made a video not too long ago saying that it's actually easier to get to 10 it's easier to get to 10k um, from zero to 10K than, than, than you actually think. And that's because if you have the right systems, it genuinely is. Now, let me, let me break down what this actually means to me and what this should mean to you as well. Right, so in this game, right, this SMA game, right, it feels like it's easy. As in like, it, the, the, the gurus make it sound like it's easy. It's technically, technically, and the reason for that, by the way, guys, is because the SMA space, don't get me wrong, SMA is one of the best legit business models you can genuinely go and start and actually change your entire life. We need to establish that fact. I'm not saying that. I actually am saying, I actually, I, I literally thank whoever's up there, if there is anything up there that I actually found SMA. Um, Cause honestly, it's been a life changing thing for me. The only problem is that because SMA has been broken down and distilled so much, it actually makes it sound like it's easy. And some people need to be careful of how they say certain things. Even me, I try to, I try to tread very carefully these days on how I say certain things. So what I'm trying to say is that SMA on paper, right? is a very easy to understand business model. That's different from it being actually easy though in reality. It's easy to understand as in it's simple. Realistically, all you need is a really good team and a really good service. And all you need is a niche with an actual pain problem. And all you need to do is reach out to them, close them as a client and then deliver that service. Anybody can understand that. It's like you're paying, you're, you're getting paid to do a job for somebody. Two, two year olds understand that. The only problem is that a lot of these gurus, if you will, make it sound like you only need to send like 100 emails to land a client. And that's the problem right there, guys. This is the problem that I keep spotting in the SMA space, right? So here's kind of like what I was speaking to a student about literally not even an hour ago. Um, so we're basically just on like kind of like a um, a one-to-one -one kind of like coaching session and whatnot, just helping him build out his agency. And we were talking about this comment right here from Will. Will actually just shout out to you, bro, because you actually put it in such a, a nice way for us to kind of like break this down. And what, what we were talking about on actual like coaching calls and stuff like that is that like, if more people understood that SMA was actually a proper business model and they had the right expectations from the beginning, 
most people wouldn't be like doing 100 outreach and getting upset about it. Because I keep seeing, right, over and over and over and over again that people jump into the SMA space to go and buy somebody's program, they then try to do outreach, and they send like, I don't know, 100, 200, 300 outreach, they don't land a client, and then they're upset about that, and then they claim the SMA doesn't work, and then the person's a scam. It's, and the reason for that, by the way, this is literally the reason for it. The reason for that is because we've been, set, we've been given the wrong expectation. What I need you guys to do, instead of thinking of like doing 100 outreach, I want you to change that to 2,000 outreach. Sounds crazy, I know, but I want you to, and, and, and the reason why I'm saying this, by the way, guys, is because there's people out there, there's, there's dudes out there, there's kids coming up in the game, there's teenagers coming up in the game, there's people want to start an agency, there's people literally like banking on SMA for, for it to work. So they're, they're full of hope, full of ambition, and all these gurus are kind of like, I wouldn't say selling their lifestyle, but there is a good lifestyle that can genuinely come from all this sort of stuff. That's just a fruit of the labor, by the way, guys. Don't get, don't get distracted by all the flashy stuff. But what I'm trying to say that it, 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 is that, if more dudes were telling you the real numbers behind what it actually takes to, to, to make an agency successful, I really believe mentally that would help a lot of people. Because I see a lot of people starting agencies, like I said, they do like 200, 300 outreach over a couple of weeks time, right? And then they give up thinking that they're doing something wrong. They think that they're doing something wrong and they've got a really crappy script or a really crappy this or really crappy that. And they start choking it down to kind of like all these other factors when realistically, you've just not done enough outreach. You, 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 you literally, you could have literally been onto a winning script. It's just that you've literally not put enough numbers through that one script. So I want to change, right, this entire kind of like game and actually set the expectations correctly for you guys. So I, like, not, not even joking, just to give you some context, when, it, when I was actually land, trying to land my first ever e-com client, this was back in, um, back in May 2021, it literally took me 1,600 emails to land one client. Now, to the untrained ear, right, that sounds like a, like a lot of outreach. And the reason for that, again, is because you have this expectation where you can send 200 outreach and get one client. Like, honestly, guys, gone all, the, all those days where you can send 100 emails, get five responses, and then out of those five, get on a call with five people and then close one. Like, that just does not happen, guys. Honestly, it literally just does not happen. Even the best in the best of the game, you're, you're lucky to even get like a 1% reply rate. Uh, excuse me, meeting book rate. 1% meeting book rate. Re reply rate, you're looking at around 8 to 10% or something like that on them. It's called emails. Could be even lower than that depending on your obvious, on your script and how new you are. But guys, what I'm trying to say here is that because you've got this expectation coming in that you can just send, the, uh, send like, I don't know, 100, 200, 300 emails and land a client every single time, people then start doing those 300 emails and when they don't get a client after 300 emails, they're completely like just sad and broke, heartbroken about it which I can understand. It's because you've been given the wrong expectations. Now, if you knew, for example, from the beginning, that it's gonna probably take you about 2,000 outreach to land one client, then uh, you know once you actually pass that 300 mark, you wouldn't even be thinking. You'd be like, okay, cool, I'm at 300. I need to, I need, I, Montel said, I need to get to at least 2,000 emails to land the client. So now your expectations actually changed. It's more realistic, if you will. This is what I'm trying to say. People are banking on an unrealistic expectation. So when they actually do reach that particular, like, that, that pinnacle or that moment, if you will, where they've done, you know, 300 outreach and they've not landed a client, it's actually dawning on them so badly that they end up quitting. But if you knew from the beginning that it's, like, I'd say to you from the beginning, don't even, don't even think about doing 300 outreach and then complaining. That's, you've not even earned, the, you've not even earned, you are not even earned and, and done enough work to actually earn the title or right yet to actually even complain. Inside of, for example, like age traumatization, when I actually when I actually talk inside of age traumatization, I literally break down to you to the to the to students and you guys inside the program that like do not even do not even attempt to complain before you've done at least one thousand two hundred emails to individual businesses. Don't even don't you don't even have the right. In fact, that's rude. It's literally rude. The reason for that is because you just literally haven't, you haven't even earned the right to complain. Don't be, don't go to the gym one time and then, and then start complaining about why you're not buff. Like literally, you need to stick in there for the long run, guys. It's what I'm trying to say to you guys. If you go into SMA with this mindset, you're bound to win. Literally. So what I want you guys to do is think of your outreach number that you think you need to achieve and just 10, uh, to get one client and then just 10 exit. So if you thought previously that you can get a client every 200 emails, 10x that, 2,000 emails, aim for 2,000 emails. In fact, these days, I'm actually starting to tell people, you know what, aim for as many no's as you possibly can. Aim for, aim for more no's, because the more no's you get, the, the, the more yeses you're gonna get. So we need to start changing, it's almost like we're doing the, the, the opposite. We're actually making it, these numbers so huge, 
we're overestimating the number in fact that, that that's what we're doing we're overestimating the, the number so then when we do uh, uh, actually land a client we're like oh okay i actually landed i ended up landing a client at like 1600 uh, 1600 emails in instead of 2000 well that's a nice surprise you see how different that is you see you see you see that you see the level of like mental health you would be in at that particular point because it's like a nice surprise at that point you was expecting to get a client every 200 2000 emails excuse me and then you did 1600 and you landed your first client we still have 400 emails left to go. Now you're gonna feel like the shit, if you will. Now the problem with this though, guys, is that obviously doing 2,000 emails to land one client is a lot of work to the untrained person, which is why, guys, a lot of people keep failing because they just think that they have to do all the lead sourcing, prospecting, first line writing themselves, which is literally why I keep screaming and ranting on about the hybrid system, this hybrid system, that. I genuinely think these days, right, the sooner you can outsource your actual outreach and hire like virtual assistants to do outreach for you, the sooner you're going to see results. In fact, it's just mathematically proven. It's actually watch my last video. I dropped a video on this um, um, not too long ago. So honestly, guys, like we need to start reframing what actually constitutes towards success in SMA. And not only that, but I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of people as well kind of like do a whole bunch of outreach, right? And at the end of the day, because they haven't set a meeting, they're they're they're, they're they're classing that day as a failure. They, I need to. I need you guys to understand something. There's something called a lead measure and a lag measure. A lead measure is something like what you can control right here, right now. For example, I can go to my computer right now, turn off this camera, and start doing outreach to a whole bunch of like brands and stuff like that right now. Obviously, granted, it would take me a long time, but I can reach out to brands. Basically, I, I can take the action right now. However, those brands might not get back to me until like may, maybe a week or two later. That's what you call a lag measure. So if I just continue to, to class my days as a failure, when I'm not getting meetings, that would actually be incorrect. Because I could do an outreach right now to somebody and they don't see the outreach for about a week. I follow up with them in a week's time. They then get on a call with me and I end up closing them for like $2,000 or something like that per month or, or, or whatever the retainer is, for example. But then I would forget that it was the, the work that I did previously that actually got me that. The, and and that, would be, what, that would have been one of the days that I classed as a, as a failure. When realistically, that was a successful day. So what I need you to do is actually work your numbers. What, what you should constitute towards a successful day should be actually hitting your number every single day. So if you want to, for example, get a client every, let's actually do a math real quick. If you want to get a client every, I don't know, every, you wanna get three clients a month, that's what? Um, that's three clients, a, three clients a month, you need to do, uh, let's say you need to do 2,000 emails to get one client, times that by three. You need to do 6,000 6, emails per month, right? Divide that again. This we're overestimating these numbers, but we're making sure that they it's so overestimated that it's like we're not disappointed. This is this is where the disappointment comes from. Disappointment comes from an unmet expectation, and this is what I'm trying to say, guys. This is why everybody's kind of like failing in this game. We need to change this. The game needs to change. The game the game needs to change. So divide this by how many days? Let's let's just say 28 days, right? Well, we need to do 214 outreach per day if we want three clients per month. That, by the way. I know that this sounds like a lot of outreach, but it's technically not. If you were to run a Facebook ad right now, right? You're getting like thousands, thousands of impressions. You're reaching thousands of people per day. Facebook ads work because it's just such a huge thing that you can actually put out to a, such a huge audience in a huge audience in such a little time. We need to take that same concept and put it into, into cold emails. Now, the way how you go about scaling something like this would be, obviously you need to get some sort of team. You need to deploy a team if you want. This would be like virtual assistants doing 50 outreach per day each 75 outreach per day each four of those people right there that's what 75 times 2 150 that's 300 outreach per day the problem is that most people don't think like this they just think sma is just one janky business that you can just start um, on your own in your bedroom which technically you can but it's not fun it's really not fun guys like trying to start sma by yourself in your bit like in, in your bedroom and then you've got the expectations of every 500 emails you send, you land one client. It's, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. I would rather you go and work like a frigging pizza delivery job, stack up like 400, 500 US dollars, put that into Upwork or something like that, or just go direct to hiring like a virtual assistant and just start doing a whole bunch of outreach using an actual team. Because that's when you're going to feel like an actual business owner and you're going to start hitting big numbers like this. You need to be hitting big numbers like this. Think about it. These big gurus, right? Do you really think they're sat there doing outreach themselves? 
Come on, guys. Come on. Behave yourselves. Behave yourselves. They're obviously not doing this. They've either got Facebook ads running, YouTube ads running, some sort of ad running, or if they're not, they've got an outreach team. They've got a team of virtual assistants doing this for them. Not only that, but look at the best businesses in the game. Forget SMA. Take a look at other businesses like, I don't know, Vodafone or, or EE or for you guys, um, Verizon, I believe you guys use in, in America. They've got salespeople in, in a sales department. So why do we not have salespeople in our sales department, if you will? They've got people that do cold calls and stuff like that. Well, I'm not too sure if they do, but you get, you get the point I'm trying to make. Most businesses have like different departments and there's specialists in each, each department, if you will. We need to start taking that same concept and applying it to our business. The only problem is that it's cash flow. This is why I, this is why I teach hybrid system. Hybrid system allows you to get cash flow coming in really quickly so that you can actually deploy this and actually go and hire virtual assistants, which would be your kind of like outreach team, if you will. So now you've got a department where you're the CEO paying these two people or three people or four people, I literally hurt my finger, or like four people um, to actually do outreach for you. Each one of these people are doing 50 outreach for you or 75 outreach for you, for example, and you're, and you're paying them. And now you're doing 300 outreach per day. This is how we need to start thinking, guys. And I'm telling you, at like 300, 400, 500 outreach per day, it's gonna be very hard for you not to close a client. If, you, if, if you're doing 500 outreach, if you somehow figure out how to, well, some, I don't, I don't, why, I don't know why it says somehow, but if you figure out, right, that you need to hire like, I don't know, five people to do 100 outreach each per day, and you're doing 500 outreach per day, and you know it's gonna take you around, even if it takes you 2,500 outreach to do, um, uh, to land one client, and you're doing, um, 500 outreach per day. That means you're gonna close a client every five days. Every five days, guys. If the numbers stay the same, that is, obviously. If the numbers stay the same. And this is another point I'm trying to make, but I'll save this for another a, a different story, but like, numbers have a funny way of showing themselves. Sometimes you can do 100 outreach. Sometimes, sometimes, guys, don't, don't, don't misconstrue what I'm about to say. Sometimes you can do 100 outreach and land a client, but then sometimes you might go 3,000 outreach deep and not land a single client, but then the next 10 outreach you, you land two clients. It's a very, it's a very, very weird way of show, numbers have a very weird way of showing themselves, if you will, but it is a numbers game, guys. The more outreach you do, the luckier you're gonna get, basically. Do so much outreach that it literally just, it literally just destroys all, all, all your idea of needing to be lucky, all idea of needing to have a good script. Just do so much outreach that you, it literally becomes unreasonable for you not to land clients. But anyway, guys, if you're interested in enrolling in age tramitation, that is still open. This is sort of systems we teach, this sort of thinking that we teach, which is why a lot of people understand. Like in age tramitation, I tell you, don't even, don't even dare to think about putting in the Facebook group that your cold emails are not working if you've sent less than 1,200 emails. Like you, you haven't even earned the right yet to complain. Maybe after 1,200 emails, you can then start to maybe be, okay, cool, let me start looking at my scripts, start changing up, but, but, but anything below that, you've not even hit enough sample sizes yet. So I mean, you need a bigger sample size, guys. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to enroll in age the price is going, I don't know when I'm going to drop this video, but the price is going up on um, the 28th of June. It's going from $597 to $797 USD, guys. So if you want to enroll, make sure you enroll ASAP before that price increases. And again, after 797, by the way, it's actually obviously going to go to 997. Um, I think I'm going to cap it at 997. I'm not too sure. I'm probably been to, I've been told many, many times that I should probably be charging like 2K or some craziness like that. But um, yeah, that's a story for another day. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and be realistic with your numbers, guys. Love you guys. Peace.